Hello, hello. So I'm currently at 40 weeks and five days, and we're still very pregnant. We just received some really bad news last night. Hospital protocols changed again in terms of like the validity of our PCR swab test and also their rules about having companions in the labor room and in the delivery room. Feeling a little bit down right now, but hopefully the hubs will still be allowed at our chosen hospital. So now we just got our RT PCR swab test. So yeah, because I'm supposed to have a seven day validity and he's supposed to have a three day validity now. So my husband is going to take like a swab test every three days and I'm supposed to take it every seven days now. But yeah, I don't know now because these past few days we've been trying to like do all these labor inducing stuff. So we've been walking a lot. You guys know that I exercise a lot. I've been taking evening primrose oil. I've been drinking raspberry leaf tea. So I just, I've, we've been doing everything. Like we've been doing massage oils also and like foot massages and all that. But yeah, I don't know now if, I don't know, I don't know when I want her to come out actually. As if the man I have a choice, <laughs> it's her choice. It's the baby's choice, but ah, it feels like March 2020 all over again. Okay, so just my luck, something started happening. Now that we are not ready with our swab tests. I'm ready. Okay, so now we're going to the hospital to see what's happening to me. Um, there's some pink discharge and I don't know if this is it. There's something leaking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just a normal thing and then I looked down, it was pink. And then I called my OB and she said best to go to um, the nearest hospital. But also um, she said it might just be my mucus plug that has ruptured so if that's the case then I could just go home afterwards but I need to check but also because I am doing get lai I squeezed in a really quick shower <laughs> so there I showered first and put on a lip mint <laughs> first things first <laughs> So I can't help but cry because everything just seems like it's not going as I expected. I feel like it would have been easier if I always knew that I was going into labor and delivery by myself. But all the rules just changed literally today. Like just yesterday, I was still allowed to bring my husband with me if ever I do go into active labor. Just yesterday. And today, all the rules changed and it's just... It would have been so much easier if this was always the scenario I prepared for. But it's just... It's hard when everything's just happening at the same time. They don't even know if they can admit me because um, the hospital is understaffed. Ooh. My eyes doesn't want to stop leaking. <laughs> it's leaking at the same time as my vagina. <laughs> okay, I've recovered again. <laughs> so yeah, I cried also because I was thinking about the hubs and just thinking about what it must feel also for the husbands. Okay, I'm starting to feel like... But anyway, you guys know what I mean. Moving right, on. Moving on. <laughs> so now we're going to the other hospital and yeah. Please, my outfit is cute, no? <laughs> when you were rolled out from the delivery area, the first thing I saw were the furry, <laughs> furry slippers. <laughs> no, okay, she's coming out. <laughs> no one else would be there with a furry slipper. Gotta be cute. So we're now currently admitted in the pregnancy unit here at the hospital. So the hubs can't be with me. They uh, will induce labor because now my water has already broke um, and only one cm dilated it will also get some blood work just to see if there is any infection but baby so far is okay heartbeat is okay baby is not in distress i'm also not getting a lot of contractions right now i'm only getting mild contractions so doc says it looks like it's gonna be tomorrow morning the arrival will be tomorrow morning so yeah, my pain level is really not that high. Um, right now, it's, it just feels like menstrual cramps, which I'm totally used to. So yeah, 
I still feel fine and I'm allowed to eat, yes. So the hubs is now looking for food for me because I haven't eaten and it's currently 11.30 p.m. So it's currently 5 a.m. and I'm getting contractions like every two to three minutes and they said it has to be like every one to two minutes. Um, I was induced so contractions are definitely more painful but so far I could handle it. I still have an hour before they check if I'm dilating or how much my cervix has dilated. Hopefully everything is going well. Let's see. And yeah, haven't been able to sleep much because I've been transferred to rooms because of some monitor issues and people have been coming in and out of my room. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe later. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna meet her soon. Okay, we've got not so good news. I've only dilated 2cm and baby is still in negative 3 and minus 3 station, meaning she's not close to the opening yet. At this point, um, given that I'm already almost 41 weeks and baby isn't there yet, and then my water bag ruptured and then my cervix spice just 2cm. I really am not going to be able to do a normal delivery. So we're going to end up doing a C-section. So yeah, my first ever surgery is happening. Oh dear.